I got pregnant whilst I was already pregnant. And I'm going to tell you how that happened. If I go right to the beginning of um, my story, it started with trying to get pregnant in the first place, obviously, um, but we were struggling to conceive. And after a while, I was um, put in contact with fertility clinic. So we went there and they prescribed me um, a particular drug which helps with ovulation. It's not that I didn't ovulate, it's because my cycles were starting to change slightly and they wanted to just regulate them. Um, so yeah, they gave me a particular drug which helped with my cycles. So on our very first time of taking this drug, I got pregnant, which was absolutely fantastic as it was something we have been waiting for for a very long time. So it works, that, that drug works, which is great news. Um, um, because I was under the care of a fertility clinic, I was offered a really early scan at seven weeks so myself and my partner Reese, we went along to the clinic and my wonderful doctor Dr Walker he scanned me and there we saw a tiny little baby um, and it was just one baby um, and oh it was just absolutely perfect this little tiny baby just like a little blob basically um, and then we were offered another scan at 10 weeks just to make sure everything was okay. And our baby was wiggling around at that point, which was absolutely fantastic. And once again, it was just only one baby. This was all before COVID lockdown um, started. So the great news was Reese was allowed in to the clinic with me to have the to watch the scans. I had a 12 week scan and I was on my own for that because Reese had to wait out in the car park in the car as lockdown had happened so all the restrictions meant he couldn't come in which was a shame. But anyway, I was there for my 12 week scan and I had a chat with the sonographer first and she was having a look at my notes and noticed that I'd already had two scans, so we discussed that. Um, that we saw a little baby on there. Um, so there's me, I'm led down on this couch, ready to be scanned, so I'm quite excited. The screen's up there ready for her to turn it on when everything, you know, is a-okay. And she's there, she starts scanning me, and she's just completely silent. I'm thinking, why is she so quiet? What's happened? And then after what felt like forever, she said to me, do you know you're expecting twins? And obviously I, I actually didn't think that what she said was real. Uh, I know that sounds ridiculous, but because I wasn't expecting her to say something like that, it just felt like it wasn't real. Like I wasn't really listening properly. It was just, and then she said to me again, do you know you're expecting twins? I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> having twins and she said you are and she spun the the screen round for me to look at and there was two babies on there and I couldn't believe it I thought well, this is just absolutely fantastic a little bit crazy as well because I'm not having twins am I I am having twins there is definitely two babies there um and so she was measuring the babies she measured twin one and that baby was measuring fine but twin two she couldn't really get a very good measurement of so she asked me to go out um out of the room for a while to jump around and see if I can get the baby into a better position for better measurements basically she printed off some scan photos and said go and show Reese who was waiting in the car so off I went sat in the car showed him the scan pictures and he didn't even notice that it said twin one and twin two on it straight away. And I said to him, we're having twins. And he just <laughs> laughed at me. He's like, yeah, no, we're not. Um, and he kept looking at pictures. And I said, we are, we're having twins. And then after like 
I don't know, 20 seconds or something, he then noticed that it said twin one and twin two on the scan pictures. So obviously he then believed me and he was so excited, which was really, really lovely. And off I went back into the hospital, got back up on the couch and she started scanning me again. And she said, this, this baby is measuring quite a bit smaller than the other baby, which then started to put some worry in my mind. Um, and she said, I don't, I don't really know why it's measuring so much smaller. It looks okay. Um, so she tried to measure it as best as she could, but she couldn't. She said, it's actually measuring three weeks smaller than the other twin, than twin one, um, which was absolutely bizarre. Uh, so, off I went with my scan pictures to come back a few weeks later to have another scan, which would be the 12 week scan for the other baby, hoping it had grown. And it had, it had grown. The baby had grown three weeks on. Um, so it just showed that it was actually growing properly. Twin one had grown three weeks bigger. So had twin two. And um, I had another scan after that and the same thing happened. They were just growing um, at the correct speed, just three weeks size difference apart. And they spoke to my, my consultant, who's also the twin specialist at the Bath Hospital where I had um, I was having my care. And they spoke to him and he said, looking at all the evidence that they've gathered so far with the consistent growth and the baby not um, not looking like it's got anything wrong going on or like it wasn't growing properly or anything, because it was, um, he said, because I was taking fertility treatment, that I had basically ovulated again three weeks after I had originally ovulated, which was the most bizarre thing to ever hear and I thought this can't be happening this isn't a thing is it surely it's not but it is it's called superfetation and it's basically you get pregnant when you are already pregnant <laughs> it's not supposed to happen your body's supposed to stop ovulating as soon as you get pregnant all your hormones um, change and you release different hormones I guess when you're pregnant, which would stop you from ovulating or even accepting another pregnancy. But for some miraculous reason, my body released another egg, it got fertilized, it implanted, and it started to grow three weeks after I got pregnant with twin one. And when I got home, after being told it's a superfetation pregnancy, I went on to Google to have a look to see what it's all about. And lo and behold, there is hardly any information out there whatsoever because let's face it, it's not really supposed to happen, is it? So there wouldn't really be any information out there. So I was kind of going it alone. Well, myself and Reese, trying to get our heads around the fact that we were having twins, but these twins were technically different ages, um, not just different ages. Well, no, they are different ages because they were conceived at different times. But go to the end of my pregnancy. I had the twins. They were born at 33 weeks. Well, twin one was 33 weeks. Twin two was born at 30 weeks. Twin one was a boy and we called him Noah and twin two is a girl and we called her Rosalie. To be fair, lots of people did say to me they thought it might be twin to twin syndrome and the that's why twin two was smaller. But then I say, look, one's a boy and one's a girl, so they're not identical. And so they obviously weren't sharing a placenta either because that's what happens with twin to twin syndrome one baby takes all the nutrients and the other baby is left without much. So that's usually why it's a lot smaller. But in our case, that's not what happened at all. Um, 
I just released eggs at three weeks apart, which <laughs> even when I'm saying this right now, I'm talking to you guys, telling you what happened in my pregnancy. It still doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right at all. It's, it sounds like, it sounds like, I don't, I don't know what it sounds like. Just that it, it's, just, it's just not supposed to happen, is it? So, but it did happen. Apparently it happens in some of the animals, um, like cats, I think, and rabbits, but not really humans. Anyway, we found out that we are case number 14 ever documented in the world ever 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 we are number 14 which is I, I you know I feel like I feel like a bit of a champion or something <laughs> like it's an accomplishment which I guess it is my body did something absolutely fantastic and I got two fantastic beautiful babies out of it at the end um we went on to have lots of tests done uh with the smallest twin with Rosalie because having these tests done would rule out um, if there was another reason for her being so much smaller. So we had um, trisomy test done to see if there's anything there. She was clear of those three. Then we went on and had a micro array test done and she was clear of anything on there. Then we went on and had an um, exome sequencing test done and there was nothing to suggest why Rosalie was so small. So back to the original diagnosis of she was conceived three weeks later and we also found out because she was conceived three weeks later and when she turned up Noah was already there, um, her placenta, bless her, when, when she embedded into my uterus her placenta wasn't able to grow the size that it should. That's why she is still a bit smaller than Noah. Um, there's, there's no other reason. But anyway, yes, my twins are called Superfetation Twins and they are absolutely fantastic. That's one of the rarest sets of twins you can get. I think it might actually be the rarest set of twins you can get. And because they're so special, I decided to set up a Instagram account for our family so people can join in with our journey. You can follow our account if you wish. It's roberts.supertwins and yep, yeah, come and give us a follow and watch watch the kids grow up. You're going to watch them grow up here, obviously, as well. Thank you for watching. And if you liked this video at all, please, could you give me um, give me a like, please? That would be great. That would really help my, my channel. If you could subscribe to my channel, you get to watch our journey. I've got an elder daughter and I've also got a baby. So we are a full on fun packed family. I'll see you guys in the next video.